As a proud plant parent, I thought this would be a perfect time to make a video update on my three Venus flytrap seedlings. Just a couple of days ago, I noticed that one of my seedlings had captured its first bug, a tiny fungus gnat. I was very proud, I ended up taking a bunch of pictures, and now in today's video, I'm going to show you how they are doing and how I'm caring for them. Here are the three seedlings. I got them through leaf pulling propagation. I did the propagation last year in October and they started growing in January. Now it is August, so they're almost exactly eight months old. And since then, they have developed very nice traps, fully formed with really bright colors. In terms of sizing, the traps, the trap size varies across the seedlings, but it's somewhere around one eighth to one fourth of an inch. The fact that they have bright colors and large traps for their age is overall a sign of good health. When Venus flytraps grow under improper conditions, for example, with not enough lighting, sometimes they lose their traps. They stop growing traps altogether and their colors might fade. But in this case, as you can see, the seedlings are all healthy and they have grown a vast number of traps. And these I'm not 100% sure of, because most Venus flytraps will grow up to 10 to 12 traps, but these seedlings have more than that. I believe that when I got the leaf pullings, I got quite a big piece of, uh, of rhizome with that, with that leaf. And from that piece of rhizome, multiple Venus flytraps were able to spore that are now growing all together. But I'm not 100% sure, maybe some of you have some additional insight. I really like doing leaf pollen propagations. It's really my favorite one from all the propagation methods for Venus flytraps because one, you get the tiny baby Venus flytraps, which are extremely cute, but also you're able to grow Venus flytraps faster into adulthood. If you compare growing a Venus flytrap from seed than growing a Venus flytrap from a leaf pulling, the leaf pulling will grow a lot faster than the one coming from seeds. In the past few months, I have been focusing on two main things when caring for these seedlings. First, lighting. They have received 12 to 14 hours of LED artificial lights every single day. In terms of watering, I have been very careful to not let the soil dry out completely, as the lack of humidity can really hurt these tiny seedlings. I have watered them very often to keep the soil humid not flooded, but humid at all times. I've been using the water tray method and employing only distilled water. Because Venus flytraps should only be water with other distilled, reverse osmosis, or rainwater. In terms of feeding, I actually haven't attempted feeding, feeding these plants because they're really tiny, so it will actually be extremely hard, but they seem to be doing good on their own. They will start capturing their own bugs very soon. I have also repotted the seedlings. They were actually in a much shallower container. It was a strawberry um, plastic container that you get in the grocery store. And since it was so shallow, I had to water it very often and it was just a lot of maintenance to make sure that the seedlings stayed healthy. So I moved the seedlings with all of their soil to these tall pots. So now I only water them every, every few days or to about twice a week. I will continue making these updates as my goal is to make sure that these seedlings continue developing and they grow until they are mature and then they can start propagating on their own. If you want to join me in this journey, make sure to subscribe and you'll get a lot more videos on carnivorous plant projects. Thanks for watching.